Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to understand how to make a ellipse with the help of oblong method. This is the question. To draw the ellipse in rectangle with sides are given that is 100 mm by 80 mm. So first of all, we are going to make a rectangle, take a scale and mark a line of 100 mm. Again, take a scale and mark a line of 80 mm. Now complete this rectangle again 100 mm and 80 mm and name it as ABCD. Now divide this rectangle into two equal divisions by making the midpoint of AB and midpoint of CD attached like this and name it as MK. Again take a midpoint of AD and BC and join with the help of line and mark it as NL. Give the name O as the center of your rectangle. Now divide this D and line into equal division. So students you can take any equal divisions but at least you have to take three. So I will take four equal divisions in this case because my vertical line total is 80 mm and D and is 40 mm. So I will divide it into four equal divisions which gives me 10 mm. So I will take a scale and with the help of scale I will mark over here 10 mm and then 10 mm and then 10 mm. So this is a four equal divisions of 10 mm and I will name it as 1, 2, 3. Now again the horizontal line ON we are going to divide it into four equal divisions but ON line is 50 mm. So to divide it into four equal divisions we have to make a divisions of 12.5 mm. So it is not possible to take with the help of a simple scale so instead of that, I will make an inclined line from point N like this at any angle. Now I will take a compass and open your compass up to a suitable measurement. You can take any measurement and put your steel part on N and mark an arc over here and give the naming is one dash. Now again take a compass and put over one dash and mark an arc over here. But, but please remember do not increase or decrease the compass opening. You have to take the same opening as you take from N to 1 dash. After that 2 dash, 1 dash, 2 dash should be equal and again take a compass put over here 2 dash and mark an arc. So 2 to 3 dash is also same. So these are the equal divisions. In the same way we have another equal division that is 4 dash. So these are the equal divisions. Compass should not be increased or decreased by making these arc. Now make a line from 4 dash to O point and after that make a parallel lines from 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash towards O and line like this. And this is the way to divide your O and line into 4 equal divisions. Now I can give the names to it. This is again 1 dash. 2 dash and 3 dash. Now from point M I will make a lines towards 1 to 3 divisions like this and from point K I will make a lines towards 1 dash which is extended towards 1 M line. Again from K point towards 2 dash which is extended towards 2 M. Then from K point towards 3 dash and extend it towards 3M and I will name it as P1, P2 and P3. So these are the points on the profile of my ellipse. Now from point P3 I will extend towards horizontal lines and P2 also and from P1 and extend your P3 line towards right side and the distance of this in line is exactly same what, what is P3 to this point and exactly same from P2 and it is also same line and from P1 also extended towards right side which is also a same line. So these are also a points for my ellipse profile and from these points extend your lines downside like this and also from other two points towards OL line. Now extend your these vertical lines further. So again we have a same measurement of these lines from this points and again same from this one as well. So this is also a same. So these are the same lines. Now again we are going to take a lines towards left side. So like this I will take the lines 
and extend towards left side. So this is also a same measurement. So whatever we have a measurement of this line from these two points, it is exactly same. In the same way, extend your these two lines also. So this is also a same. And this is also a same. So these points are the profile of your ellipse. So students, now you can join these points freehand or you can also use French curves. So this is a profile of your ellipse with the help of a blown method. I hope you understand this question. If you have still any query, you can comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be happy.